What are you doing to plan for your retirement? I save money very well. I'm pretty frugal and I keep to a tight budget. And I think looking ahead, investing in better savings accounts and that sort of thing in some stocks is always a good idea. Yeah. I think that's hard to say. Um, I'm sure that it's, I mean, it's a thought that has crossed my mind. What if I don't make it? Um, so that's why I think I need to start saving up soon. Um, I'm not sure, especially given that I like to jump around countries, you know, um, internationally, that I might be able to actually save up in just a specific country and be able to retire there. Actually not. That's one of my worries. And uh, like, I keep looking for a good job that can offer me a good pension plan so I can retire safely and easily with a good money that can keep me going. Yeah, I do have thoughts, but like I, I am still planning. I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I'm still relying on the company that I work with, which uh, pays me well. So and I have a good deal with them. So this is pretty much what I'm trying to. Well, for the moment, I'm partially retired. So I'm working, consulting, but otherwise RRSP. Well, that's a really good question because uh, my retirement plans had uh, me retiring in another three years. But thanks to the vaccine mandates, I'm one of the many people that was forced out of work early. So thankfully, you know, I've spent a lifetime working, so I was able to, uh, you know, start retirement. But it was not not the same financial position that I was hoping. I'm very much so thinking about that. I'm uh, almost 40. Uh, I run a small business. And my sort of joke plan is to start another small business that's less physical. So my wife and I have talked about buying a dump truck and an excavator and like starting a small excavating business or something along those lines and working basically until I can't and just kind of enjoying more free time, but still working majority of the retirement. Um, you know, it's sad because many of our people like me have gone back to the workforce where young people, I don't know where they are, but they're not there. So we are filling up the spot for those people that cannot show up. It's not getting easier for anybody. So that's my concern. I've been you know, fortunate to be at the age I'm at to build on a, you know, a financial foundation, but it's a concern for the long term for a lot of people. Well, for my retirement, uh, I didn't have a pension plan per se. So um, uh, I very diligently invested into uh, my RRSPs and into F TFSAs. Uh, and because I worked all my life, uh, I was lucky enough to set money aside and, and get invested. Uh, my wife uh, does have a pension plan, so between the two, we pretty much have the best of both worlds. Uh, if she passes away, I only get half, but if I pass away, she gets it all. It's definitely, I think, for young people, because of the cost of living and the cost of retirement, I think it's starting to enter people's minds earlier and earlier. So I'm just really starting to think about entering the workforce, and that's definitely going to be something that's on my mind from day one, essentially, is what can I be doing to set myself up so by that time I'm ready to go. RRSPs, pension plan, just try to sock away a little bit of money here and there. And then mix your investments up high risk with uh, low risk for a good return. But yeah, just trying to be smart. Yeah, so I have, I have some RRSPs. Uh, my employer has some pension plan. I'm participating in it. Um, obviously investing. I, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Um, given uh, all the inflation and uh, the uncertainty with the financial market economy. Um, I don't think I'm doing enough, actually. I probably not. <laughs> work. I work every day of the week. <laughs> if I could, uh, Saturdays and Sundays as well. That's what you got to do <laughs> to plan for your future nowadays. Oh, well, I actually have um, three savings accounts that I have and then uh, RRSP. Yeah, I have an RRSP as well, and I match funds every month. Well, it's coming up in two years. <laughs> um, so right now we're saving um, and trying to figure out the best way for benefits, um, health care. Um, so we do have a pretty secure plan, and hopefully it, it'll work. Uh, RRSPs, banking money, investing in some real estate. Ditto. Ditto. <laughs> Currently, not too much. Um, I live with my mom just because I can't work, just because I'm disabled, and it's kind of hard for a lot of disabled people to find work that's not too physically taxing. Um, but right now, I'm just focusing on my health and trying to better that so that maybe I can, in the future, have a nice long retirement. <laughs>